Hi guys, this is Jeff from Railway City Hobbies and today we're going to do a video on the Rapido mid-train dome cars. We're only going to show two paint schemes, the CP rail and the Canadian Pacific Railway paint scheme. There are quite a few paint schemes out there, uh, Amtrak, BNO, the two Canadian Pacifics, the D&H, uh, the CN uh, Silver Scheme, uh, the CN American Spirit Paint Scheme, the Norfolk Western, uh, the Wabash, the Mopac Paint Scheme, uh, Missouri Pacific, and the Seaboard Scheme, and I think I'm leaving some out, but again, there's multiple, lots of paint schemes out there, Illinois Central. I think I got them pretty well covered on that. And uh, so each one of them, the seat, the seats in the dome will be a different color. We're going to show, just again, we're just showing two today. And we're also going to show the lighting effects and the details. So with that, we're going to look at the details first. Alright, so this is the uh, Canadian Pacific unit. So some of the details on this, on the top part of this roof here, you have two grab irons. One, this grab iron here is a ladder grab. So the ladder actually will fit in the rungs. Like if you're uh, if you're trying to get up onto the roof from the side, then you grab a ladder and you would uh, put it into the, these two grooves. Your diaphragm at the back here is spring-loaded. I don't know if you can see that. There's a tiny little spring right in here. That's a spring-loaded uh, diaphragm on both ends. You can see uh, the interior on this, the top of the dome. They are uh, cream-colored with white headrests. And the interior, like the, the main floor of the car, they are um, blue with white headrests. Uh, a Canadian Pacific specific uh, item is the beaver shield on both ends of the passenger car. You got separately applied grabs on this end here, and also you got uh, uh, metal handrails on the other end. If you look at the end of the detail, the end car detail, you got your coupler cut lever down in the bottom here. You got uh, some chain work, um, more uh, custom uh, metal work here. That is, uh, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it's metal uh, metal rail on the other side. And around the other side here, again, more handrails, or sort of gap irons, the beaver logo, the beaver shield, uh, beaver shield on this end, handrails. Now, Rapido is renowned for their underbody detail and just look at the underbody detail. You have your steam piping line here. Um, yeah, there's more than I know what uh, you got. Uh, looks like AC units here. Um, I want to say these are ice boxes. Um, truth be told, uh, I couldn't identify half of this piping. Um, like I know that there is a lot, there is there's way too much piping under underneath these cars, um, but they're done to the prototype, and uh, Rapido makes a very excellent passenger car. So that's the Canadian Pacific version. Now we're gonna grab the CP Rail one. So all the de uh, all the grab irons are the same. 
and the handrails. This one has a uh, aqua interior with white headrests and the the seats on the the main floor are a yellowy beige something uh, with white headrests. So each each the, the seat colors are all done uh, to match the prototype. So your each railroad will be different. So uh, now we're just going to uh, put these on a, a live power track. We're going to turn out the lights and we're going to look at some of the lighting. So now we'll take a look at the lights in the uh, the dome car here. You can see nice detailed interior and the lights are nice and bright, not too bright. You can see the uh, there's two LEDs up in the up here, one there and one there, lighting the dome. And then in the rear here, you could see uh, looks like a cafe in the rear. So this is the name. Uh, CP rail one. I'll grab the CPR one. Okay. Again, you'll notice the floors and the seats are now again a different color by prototype. And we're just going to adjust the camera and we're going to shoot down uh, more towards the dome so you can see the dome lighting. And we're going to grab the CP1, CP rail. And you can see the actual seat, the actual seat colors are, have changed. All right, so now we're going to demonstrate the uh, turning the lighting off and on uh, with the magnetic wand, uh, as shown here. We'll show it actually when when the lights are back on. So one thing I, I got to say is these actually have a small capacitor in them. So I'm going to pick this up off the rail, and the lights are still on, and they'll go out. So this will help if you're going over any type of track. Uh, so that small delay will allow it if you have a like a, a joint or a dead spot of track, it'll work fine to get across. Well, anyways, so the wand, you take it, so the long hood side here, or the, the longer section, you just run the wand over it and turn it off. And then you, you swipe it back over and it turns them back on again. Uh, it's their, what they call their easy peasy lighting system. So we've reached the end of this video. Uh, as you've seen, the lighting is fantastic on these cars. Not too bright. The detail is like second to none on the uh, these passenger cars. They cover a wide range of railroads. Now, all the all the ones that are represented uh, that Rapido made do exist. Here is the actual uh, tool for turning the lights on and off. If you're unfamiliar with it, so at this point, uh, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.